In the next installment of the APOC video series, you want to look at the metadata functionality that APOC brings along. For this, we will look at our uh, Panama Papers sandbox, uh, again, that we already looked at in, in the first place. And uh, as usual, we can just run APOC help to see what's around with metadata functionality. So let's start with uh, APOC Metagraph, which is a replacement for uh, DB Schema. Uh, it fi fixes some of the issues that DB Schema has because it does not add uh, duplicate relationships. And it also adds, for instance, um, counts on each node. So you see how many uh, counts each node's node has. And, um, same for relationships as well. And you see the in and out degrees for the relationship as well, which is really nice. Something else that we can call is uh, epoch meta schema, which basically returns you the information as a JSON object. So for each entity um, in the graphs, so in our case it's entity, officer, um, intermediary, and so on, we get um, the total count in the graph and the relationships that this node has, so for instance, registered address, each relationship again gets the count, its properties, and their type. Uh, also, if there's an uh, existence uh, constraint or if it's an array. And if you look further down here, we have more relationships, and then it um, here it says uh, the type of our this uh, entity is a node, and these are the properties, so source ID. Uh, close the jurisdiction. So we see, for instance, uh, jurisdiction is indexed. Um, countries uh, is some uh, a string. What else do we have? Uh, name and, and, and so on. Uh, but we also have relationships as top level uh, types as well. So, and here to show how we can actually use this uh, data. So we can just uh, yield value and then for instance return keys of value that should be all our entities in the, in the database so the nodes and the labels and uh, so if you wanted to we can consume this either in Cypher or from a client. Uh, if you have a client that rather wants to see tabular data we can also call uh, epoch metadata uh, which returns the same in tabular format and here we can for instance uh, get the label, the property, the count, and the type, and um, filter uh, where label equals officer. So we just want to see the data from the officers and we return label property uh, count and type. And then we see for officer we have these uh, three relationships where type is relationship. And the counts for these relationships are also shown um, in, in this output. And all the other uh, attributes as well. Uh, there are some other meta functions. So we see here, for instance, we can also sample the graph, so only to see a subset. So we can, for instance, say which nodes and relationships we want to see in our out visual output, which can be useful. Uh, Epoch meta stats is also quite interesting. Uh, because it accesses the database statistics. So we see actually um, total label count, total, total relationship count, total property key count, node, node count, relationship count. And then uh, for each node, we see the total count. And for each relationship, we also see uh, the total count. And we also see the counts per um, relationship type and label either at the beginning or at the end of the uh, relationship. So this uh, statistics information can be interesting uh, for planning and data generate uh, query generations and things like that. So this is also what the Cypher Query Planner uses internally for, uh, for um, optimizations. So APOC meta type is a function as you can see and we can say APOC meta type of uh, foo and we see this is a string 42 is an integer true is an boolean and list of one two three is a list and a map would be a map so we can just pass in a value and it would uh, 
give us the type of this uh, value. With is type, you can check it against a certain uh, type. You see that these things are in here as well. Um, and uh, you can also return all types of nodes. So for instance, if I match a officer, officer, and then I can return epoch meta types of O, so I can take any uh, map relationship or node, uh, should work. And if I do this, I get, like for all these values, I get the um, types back in one go, which is also quite useful. And that's about the meta functionality in Epoch so far. Or oh, something I meant to uh, mention is uh, Epoch meta graph actually uses virtual nodes and relationships. So you see that these nodes and relationships have negative IDs. Um, and these are not really exist in, in Cypher itself. Um, so um, they can be used for visualization and uh, for even ex some things like export, um, but you can't use them with regular Cypher uh, operations, so you would need to use some other epoch functionality to access uh, properties and um, labels of these, uh, of these nodes. And that's it for this installment, and thanks for watching. If you find more uh, about epoch, please look at the documentation, which is linked via the repository. Uh, here's a bit.ly link, Neo4j epoch, or come ask questions on the Neo4j Slack channel and uh, we can help you there. Otherwise, more videos of this series will be found on the YouTube channel. Thank you.